Hello. Today I will be discussing about the ISLM framework considering the effects of increase in government expenditure. Well, uh, it should be mentioned here that you can find the related lectures in the description box. Okay. So today I will be discussing about the impact of increase in government expenditure on the ISLM framework. Okay. Look. Look, this is the this is the increase in government expenditure that has an effect on the ISLF framework. Look, what is what does it mean? What does it mean? Look, there are three three figure this is panel a figure this is panel b figure and this is panel c figure okay this is panel panel a figure this is panel b figure and this is panel this is panel c figure okay so this is the this is the IS curve IR plus Z0. It represents the IS curve. It names is IR plus G0. Okay. Actually, it is known to you that the IS curve represents those combinations of interest rate and investment here, investment plus government expenditure that makes the the goods market in equilibrium so this is the locus of all those points of interest rate and the i0 plus g0 okay that makes the equal that makes the goods market in equilibrium so now if government spending government expenditure increases what does it affect if there is an increase in the government expenditure, then the IS curve will shift rightwards. IS curve will shift rightward. That is the IR plus G1. IR plus G1. Here government expenditure is G0. Here government expenditure is G1. G1 is greater than G0. Okay? Now, now the interest rate is R0 and if government expenditure is increased, then the, then the I0, Z0 will be I0, Z1. The interest rate is same as because the government spending has increased. Okay. Now, now this is the, this is the saving curve. Okay, so savings along the vertical axis, we measure the savings equals the investment. Savings and investments are equal here. So look, as there is a S0 plus T0 equal to I0 plus G0, and government expenditure has increased, so to maintain equilibrium in the goods market, saving must be increased. S1, saving must be increased because you know that I plus Z, I plus Z equal to S plus t okay s plus t if z is increased then s should be increased to maintain the equilibrium in the goods market so this increase in saving will increase income interest rate is remain unchanged is remained unchanged okay this change that is the y zero 
y1 minus y0, this much is because of increase in saving. Okay. So the so here we get the difference. Understand? So y0, this y0, and here s0, t0 equal to i0, z0. And this point represents y1 income and an s1, t0 plus i0, z1. Okay? S1 increases, sorry, savings increases. And as a result of this, income increases. Understood? So now, now what happens? Now look at this figure, panel C. Panel C figure, this represents the ice curve. As a result of this, as a result of increase in government spending, government spending, ice curve will shift up. Ice curve will shift up. Okay? Ice curve will shift up. Rate of interest is same, same, but income has increased from Y0 to Y1. That's because of shifting of IS0 to IS1. As there is increase in government expenditure. Okay. So interest rates remain, interest rate remains unchanged, unchanged and there is an increase in government spending to maintain equilibrium in the goods market. Saving should be increased. And as a result of this, income increased. So remain uh, in, uh, keeping interest rate unchanged, income will increase. And this is only possible when there is a shifting of ice curve. When there is a shifting of ice curve. Okay. So what this much? Here should be remember that this much, this amount is nothing but del Z one by one minus B. Okay, this this is nothing but the this amount. What does it mean? It is change in government expenditure. Change in government expenditure here, G1 minus G0, okay? Change in government expenditure multiplied by the 1 by 1 minus B. 1 by 1 minus B, 1 minus B is nothing but the MPS, marginal propensity to save, okay? So this amount is, is, is equal to del G multiplied by the 1 by 1 minus, 1 by 1 minus B. So, so what we have found here is that the, if there is an increase in government expenditure, then in, ice curve will shift up through the increase in savings to maintain the good, goods market in equilibrium, okay? Keeping interest rate unchanged. Now, if the government's expenditure decreases. If the government expenditure is decreased, what, what happens? Then, then savings, then what happens? Then savings will fall. To maintain the goods market in equilibrium. Okay, so as a result of that, IS curve will shift leftward towards origin. Okay. IS curve will shift leftwards. And in that case, the income will fall. If the initial income is Y0, then it will be Y1 that is less than Y0. That is less than Y0 as because there is a decrease in government expenditure. Okay. I hope uh, you understood what uh, I have tried to explain and thank you for enjoying my lecture.